As much as I like the image of the astronomical clock, it's not what most students would recognize as a clock. Going back to the photo site, there's a much more relatable image. I'll download and save that. Go back to Canvas. Delete this picture. And again, click the Embed Image icon. The image source will be Canvas. I'll go to Course Files and upload the alarm clock. It's a decorative image, but look at those dimensions. That picture is just enormous. Let's reduce the dimensions so the width is 150 pixels and Canvas automatically calculates the height so that the width and height of the image remain in proportion to one another. Update and save. And there you have it. Everything looks good, but let's take a look at what's happening behind the scenes. Let's go to that image, right-click, and view the image information. Not only is it big in terms of dimensions, it also takes up a little over 2 megabytes. Here's what's really happening. When a student requests the page, the server downloads the picture, all 2.1 megabytes of it, and the browser does the work of reducing it to the 150 by 150 image that we want to see. This is not a good thing. If the student is viewing the page on a mobile phone with a slow connection, that's 2.1 megabytes of data that we've chewed up from their data plan on a decorative picture. There must be a better way. Here's what to do. Take the large picture that you've downloaded to your system and resize it to the dimensions that you want. That will be a much smaller file. And you upload that smaller file to the server. Now, when the student requests the page, the server downloads the small picture that's the exact size you want, and it needs to transfer only 76,000 bytes of data. That's 4% of the original file size. The question that remains is, how do you reduce the picture? There are several graphics tools that will let you do this. You can use programs like Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Paint, or Preview for Mac OS. If you're a fan of open source tools, you can use the GNU Image Manipulation Program or Krita. There are even websites that let you reduce your image sizes without ever leaving the browser. In this video, I'm using Krita. Open the file. and Krita zooms out to make the whole picture fit in the window. Go to the image menu, scale the image to a new size. We're constraining proportions so that the height and width will stay in proportion to one another. And enter the new dimensions. Click OK. And there's the result. The reason the image looks so very small is that you're still viewing it at 32% of its original size. Let's zoom in to 100% and there's the image as the student will see it. Save the image under a new name by adding underscore small to the file name and save. 
When you save an image, you can adjust the quality and we'll leave it where it is at 80%. Now I return to Canvas and edit the page. I'll get rid of the large image from the page, embed an image on Canvas, Course Files, and upload the small alarm clock image, which is decorative and a much smaller size, and save. One more thing. If you viewed a previous video, you saw that I resized the astronomical clock photo by dragging the handles on the picture. Why didn't I make a smaller version of that image? Let's take a look at the astronomical clock photo. Right click for the image info, and we'll see that not only is it small in terms of dimensions, it's also small in terms of the amount of memory it takes up, 60,000 bytes. I could have made a smaller version of the astronomical clock, but I wouldn't have saved a lot of room. To summarize, when a picture is already small, resize it using the handles in Canvas. If it's a really big picture, make a smaller version that is the size you want and upload that smaller image. The page will load faster because there's a lot less data to transfer and it won't be as expensive for mobile phone users. It's a little bit more work for you, but your students will love you for it.